Hi, welcome to I Love the Library. I'm Mary Haney, Director of the Detroit Lakes Public Library, and I'm so glad you've decided to join me today. I want to talk about what I've been reading. This isn't something that, you know, I, I do a lot, but I do get asked, what have you been reading, Mary? What have you liked, and what can you recommend? So I thought I'd take you through what I've been reading, and, or more importantly, what I've been listening to, because I tend to listen to more audiobooks than I, you know, they just, they're in the car running while I'm driving around, and so I actually go through more audiobooks than I do books in print these days. And of course, I'm also reading books on my iPad, um, eBooks, which are a little more difficult to show, but I do download those from the library's website, www.larl.org, and uh, put them on my, well, I have a Nook and I also have an iPad so I can read them in whatever format seems to be working that day. But here's what I've been reading lately. And we will be reading this, um, discussing this soon at the library's book club, 100 Miles to Nowhere, An Unlikely Love Story by Alyssa Curren. And I apologize, Alyssa, if I'm saying your name wrong. Maybe it's Alisa, and maybe it's Kareen. I'm not certain. But she lives now in, in New York Mills, where she moved from New York City. And this is a charming book of her adventures from as moving as a... Um, a singer-songwriter. She came to do an artist-in-residence in, in New York Mills and uh, and it's her adventures there. It's, it's really entertaining and I think you'll enjoy it. It's fun to read something set so close to home um, and it's, it's very well written. So anyway, that's a fun book and uh, you can get it at the library. We have several copies. Read that and come and discuss it with us at the library's book discussion group uh, later this summer. So, another one I've been listening to. I love Alexander McCall Smith. He's the author who wrote um, the number one ladies detective agency, Scotland Street series, um, the Corduroy Mansion series, and this is a new standalone book of his, My Italian Bulldozer. And it's, it's really written in his signature style. It's set in Italy, of course, hence the name My Italian Bulldozer. Uh, it's just a very charming, lighthearted read. Nothing too heavy, but has a few life lessons in it. So I've been listening to that. This is a new series that I we have in print and in audiobook, and I think we even have it in large print. This is by Janet Ivanovich, written along with uh, Fief Sutton, I think is her co-writer on these. Um, anyway, they're really fun. It's a new series. There are only two so far. I hope she writes more of these. The first one is Curious Minds, and this one is Dangerous Minds. I've now listened to both of them, and they are just a romp. Um, in uh, the first one, we meet uh, Emerson Knight, who is a mysterious, young, charming billionaire who has a very large mansion in the Washington, D.C. area, which he inherited from his family called Mir Mysterioso Manor. And Mysterioso Manor is populated with funny characters, but also a menagerie of zebras, giraffes, monkeys, all kinds of animals roam the mansion and the grounds. And he hooks up with his, what he calls his amanuensis, his administrative assistant, um, Riley Moon, who is a great foil to his eccentricities. Um, she's really a down-to-earth character. She drives, he doesn't, things like that. Um, but it's just a romp of a series. Um, crimes are involved, crime solving is involved, it's a mystery. Um, there's a little hint of romance, really fun. I would highly recommend these for travel with uh, say a husband and wife or uh, male and female group. Um, in fact, I'm taking a road trip fairly soon with relatives, including my brother-in-law who's not much of a reader, and uh, we will be taking something like this to listen on our way. Um, I've also been reading John Green's Paper Towns, which is a mystery. This is a young adult novel. I read those occasionally just to keep up with what's going on with the kids. And John Green wrote The Fault in Our Stars, which is a book you may recognize, also became a movie. Um, this is a mystery, part of a mystery. It's a it's very intriguing book. Um, I think if you like mysteries and you like um, just a, a hint of what's going on with the kids these days, you would like this one. 
This one, I am enjoying this one a lot. As you can see, it still has my personal bookmark in it. Thank you, Jean Paler, for crocheting me this bookmark. Um, and this is a book about the Obama White House. It isn't political. It's more of an inside look, kind of a name dropping, kind of gossipy kind of book. For example, it talks about when the author Alist Alyssa Mastro Monaco goes to Buckingham Palace for the first time. It's, so it's very lighthearted. Um, but the name of it is, Who Thought This Was a Good Idea? Which is apparently something President Obama said when he wasn't pleased with how something turned out, say the day he had to make Make an appearance in driving rain and hail and it was scheduled to be outdoors and they refused to reschedule him indoors. I mean his handlers, this woman, refused to schedule him indoors and he looked at her and said, who thought this was a good idea? So a chatty gossipy kind of book, really fun. Um, lots of other great stuff I've been reading. Um, slow cooker, you got to do a little cooking. This is an irregular periodical along with some other irregular periodicals. If you're interested in any of these, come into the library. I'd be happy to help you find them and so would everyone else who works here at the library. So come on in and check it out. <laughs>